beds and tracks on top of the oldest snow. Ooh, look at that little sharp tooth back in. Back in the backpack. Oh. He's, he's pretty nice bull actually. Holy cow, that face is bloody red. Woo. So that's that's that bull this year and last year. He grew uh, quite a bit. Shed tour video, welcome, welcome. With my buddy John Adams. John, come say what's up. What's up? Uh, we're going shed hunting for elk sheds, hopefully. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun video. Clean up, our backs are gonna be hurt. That's, yeah, I, don't, I have no clue what to expect. I've, I've been on this unit just once, but John is a, a guy, he has a business called High Point Outfitters. And what I like about John is he's like, all year round man this is like recon mission one scouting for bulls that made it through the winter um two just shed hunting in general we see each other every year at the hunt expo but never put together a shed hunt until now we're riding the quads in and then we're gonna bomb in some country and see what we can do it's probably 2 p.m now so there's not much time but half day we'll see if we can find Straight off of this and down and to get off that edge, maybe just walk. Is so this I think like a maybe backbone? we just walk this backbone. Well, here we go. We're all kind of split up, going our separate ways. I got to cross this creek right here. One of the fun parts hiking with you know two or three guys is everybody's kind of got a different idea of where they want to go different idea where they think they're going to hit the jackpot and uh it's kind of fun to just let everybody spread out and go their separate way and uh see who finds the lucky spot and sometimes like you've seen in our video series from yesterday or even south dakota it's all about making the right line even if you guys are all in the same general area someone's someone's going to be in a spot and someone's not so we're just crossing this creek getting ready to go up the slope and uh whew, i'll tell you what it's thick here I see an elk rub i don't know if you'll see it but there's an elk rub right over there so they're in here time to slow down and turn this thing off things are looking good we got rubs we got tracks we got droppings just trying to find where they've been a little more recent that stuff's a little old but always a good sign when you're looking for elk the weather can change fast this time of year it was windy we know there were storms scheduled for possibility today and took a chance this is what we're dealing with snow really wet snow so i'm gonna try to get out of it somewhere at least a little and just glass which no longer is very effective with all the snow in the air lots of tracks guys just haven't really pinpointed like where they've been the last couple of weeks and that's probably going to be the most important is just finding you know where they've been recently <laughs> uh, talk to me about that it's out here it's snowing it looks like it's got double g2s on that side looks like it's got double g2s on that side it's 
Not every day you find them like this, man. Dude. Look at that. Big old brown double G2. Look at this. There's the other side right there. Another double G2. Look at that. That is so sweet. Let's do work, son. Keep going. Don't worry about me, guys. John got me a 99 cent poncho at Walmart, so we're good. <laughs> I've got so much. I think I have two sets of first light rain gear. I don't have them with me. And this is what we get. I'm just gonna meet up with John and see his big set he just found. He says it's pretty cool. Look at this guy with the browns. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Dang, I'm soaked pushing through this grass and brush. It was soaking wet. Yes, dude. Sweet. What? Yes. Dude, that's like my favorite point. It's like inline, huh? You got on both sides. Oh, and that one splits, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when they're wet because they look, look so dark. How, look at the burrs. Oh, man, that's got to be an old bull. Let's see that. Yeah, that is sweet. It's all concave. Dang, that side too. Not a giant burr in circumference, but man, they're deep. Which I've always thought was an older bull. The color's so cool when they're soaking wet. They always look to be a little darker. Look how heavy that is. <laughs> you stoked? Dude, that's pretty good, pretty good find laying side by side. You definitely deserve to find them, bringing us here to this spot. So, nice work. Hold them up. Yeah. Oh, I love those unders. There's just so much like dished out on the unders. Hold them up and turn them broadside like they're on the head. Yeah, dude, that is so cool. All right, guys, we've been dealing with some snow and wet weather. I'm getting soaked. And uh, sounds like John just found a great set. We've been in great sign, honestly, this whole time. Um, but haven't turned up anything and nothing really fresh looking. I bombed far west as I could and got on this knob and right about there I said there's an antler here. This is exactly what the bulls in this area like, this type of terrain. We've got a nice brown chilling tines down over there. Might have to use my phone to film this because I don't want the camera to get wet but we've got a brown. Honestly he's kind of Oh, that's cool. He's tucked up under, up on these rocks, kind of in this random little pocket. Nice. Wow. He's got a giant G1. Look at that. Holy cow. That G1 is huge. He's just like a nice bull everywhere else. Brown six point. Oh, heck yeah. Great way to start it. Kind of funny, just like up on this little perch. Wonder what he was doing. Pick him up real quick and get the camera back in the backpack. Because it is flat. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's a pretty nice bull, actually. That G1 is huge. I mean, there's my elbow to fingertip. Dang. Not a giant base to him but a uh, pretty dense antler. Well, this, sometimes I ask myself, how the heck did I find myself right here, right now, in this mess? Going for a jump. Oh, I'm lucky we found those browns, but we got stormed out of there. So I'm heading up these cliffs that we dropped down right here. This is right where we dropped into the straw. But yeah, sucks to not find anything, but I'm glad those guys did. Makes it worth it. Um, headed to the truck. Long four-wheeler ride. It's gonna be cold. Everything is soaked. 
Um, I think I'm gonna be the first guy up here. Those guys are down in that mess somewhere. So to the quad we go, then to the truck to try to dry off. And I don't know how far town is, we plan to camp, but honestly, if town isn't that far, which uh, if the last one we hit is the closest, we need to go get a hotel. <laughs> Why suffer out here? Go to bed soaking wet when you can go to town if you can. I'll see what those guys think, but it's gonna climb out of here and get to the quad first. Hey, look at me. Turn to your right. Is this legit or what? Yeah, man, this is crazy. Here come the shed warriors. Look at this. Let's see the finds. What, dude? Average? Yeah. We you smoking dope, dude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that ain't average, man. That's a heavy, cool bull. Dang, Martin, like... It was a tough spot, man. Like, why can't we find the match to that heavy I sucker? I gritted hard. Holy floater, dude. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's from my elbow to the tip of my finger. Dang. And then... You got a chalk got set? Two sets. It's chalk and... Oh, there's the split. Brownie. I see it now. Yeah, your your single's bigger than his yeah. set. Dude, look at the mass on that third. I know, it's, it's like chunky. Split. Look yeah, at this thing. It, what the heck? God, the other side's got to be there, huh? I thought I was going to find a couple sets. It was like perfect terrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, average. Oh, it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> that, that ain't <laughs> average, dude. Yeah. That's way cool. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that floater, that's like my New Mexico bull I shot. Yeah, he does have good mass on the third. I really didn't look at him much just because oh of the storm gosh, that rolled dude. in. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Look at the mass on that G3. Look at how cool his is, all the texture at the bottom. Oh yeah, way dished out. Huh? Mm -hmm. Like dang. some of the most dished out concave birds I've that's seen. That's an awesome set. Isn't it cool with that bottom? Like there's so much texture and like ridges and stuff down low. Well heck dude, for what we had time wise, we not killed bad. it. Not yeah. bad at all, yeah. man. That floater is pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> that horn right there alone is worth it. Look at how much snow has fallen since we've got here. No snow when we got here. No, I'm freezing cold. I've been standing under that tree like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, sitting there just taking I it. I was hoping you guys weren't gonna beat me back and have to wait, but I'll be ways back in. Hey, how cold are you, bro? <laughs> well, you can't feel my face. You couldn't see you couldn't see driving the four-wheeler. Was it worth it? It was worth it though. We got browns. Big browns. Giant G1s. Not ah, funny. Let's go. Are you cold? I'm frozen. I think hypothermia setting in on air. <laughs> Thank you.